Hey, what's up everyone? I have some really cool stuff to show you today. I went to Oz Comic Con the other weekend and it was a blast. I really just love catching up with all of you awesome people and I'll put a bunch of people here up on the screen. You should definitely check them all out. They're a mix of awesome artists and TCG vendors as well. So please go check them out. And I will make sure that everything I show here will also have um, their Instagram tag as well so that you can check them out there too. As usual with these type of events, the main thing that I bought was art prints. I just cannot resist when there's too many awesome artists there to check out. So yeah, definitely have some really cool art to show you guys, but there's also something quite special and I'm going to save that until the end. So this first lot of prints I have are from Jackson Casper. Really awesome stuff and just a lovely guy to talk to. So yeah, thanks for chatting with me, man. And check this out. This is a awesome Sonic the Hedgehog print. And yeah, I guess it's just come out in time for the new movie as well. So that's pretty cool. Keeping with the gaming theme, we have a really sick Master Chief as well. Really happy with this. Oh, I, I played so much Halo when it was COVID <laughs> during the lockdown. So yeah, this was, um, this was definitely something I had to get. And finally, just some Pokemon stuff. And these two are actually a set, I believe. So they're going to look really cool when I hang them up together. So we have Ho-Oh with the legendary... I've always thought that they were dogs. I know some people think that they're cats, but I always thought they were legendary dogs. So I'm just going to keep it with that. Um, but yeah, the legendary dogs, Raikou, Suicune, and Entei. And of course, you guys know already... I cannot resist a sick Lugia print because Lugia is my homie. So we also have a gorgeous Lugia with the iconic first gen legendary birds Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno. So if you put them together, oh yeah, look how, damn guys, look how beautiful they look together as well. So beautiful. So, so happy with that. And yeah, Jackson, you have incredible work, man. Thank you so much and keep doing what you're doing. Keeping with the Pokemon legendary theme, I did also score this amazing Lugia print. So yeah, she had some really cool stuff and I think it was all watercolor. So the fact that it's not even digital just made me even more impressed. And another Pokemon print by her, the classic evolutions all together. This one was so adorable. I definitely, definitely had to pick this one up. I also bought some smaller prints by her as well. So first up, we have a really sick Haku in his dragon form from Spirited Away. I, like anyone who loves anime, I love, love Studio Ghibli. So especially Spirited Away it might be my favorite. There's a few favorites, but it's definitely up there for sure. And next we have some Nintendo love with the Super Mario Brothers and Princess Peach and Bowser and oh, the toad here is just so cute and adorable and Yoshi. Yeah, so iconic, loved this print as well. And finally, we have some ghost love, the first gen ghost Pokemon, Gengar, Haunter and Ghastly. And last but not least, I picked up some small, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful gold foil art prints. So first up, we have Sailor Moon as Princess Serenity. And then next we have this absolutely super kawaii, beautiful print with all these little chibi rabbits. As you guys know, I had to get it because it's rabbits <laughs> and it's crazy. When I first saw this, I actually asked her, is this supposed to be uh, Sakura from Cardcaptor Sakura? And she said, it's actually a original character that she designed. But she said, I have a Cardcaptor Sakura print if you want to see it. And I said, of course. So yeah, this one is absolutely stunning. Like check this out. How gorgeous and beautiful is this? Oh my goodness. And one of my favorite outfits that Sakura wears. Oh my goodness. So I don't think, yeah, this one doesn't have any foiling, but it has a very beautiful metallic shimmer. 
I was absolutely blown away by this artist and even her business card. Like, look at that, people. Look how beautiful that is with the foiling and everything. Just so, so stunning. So, yeah, there's her socials. But again, link will be in the description below as well. So yeah, that's actually all I bought in terms of art prints. I did get something really special, so let me show you what I got. So first, I was generously, generously gifted this by Muhammad from Game Corner AU. Oh my goodness, look at this guys. A beautiful Lugia slab, the Japanese Lugia from Neo Genesis, or technically I think the Japanese set was called gold silver new world yeah muhammad thank you so much again i really appreciate it everyone check out game corner au and pika blue on instagram and tiktok as well i believe i think he does live rips on tuesdays and thursdays maybe so yeah really awesome stuff but yeah so so happy with the score and the hollow effect in the background is just so juicy really really love it and yeah, I would love to get an English version of this one day, but I know it's a very, very high price tag card. But yeah, if I can get one one day, that would be absolutely insane. And last but not least, I had to hit up my friends at Crazy Panda Collectibles. Nathan, thank you so much again for your awesome service and for letting me hang out with you and Jackie at the booth for a while. It was so fun. So many laughs. Really had a blast hanging out with you guys. And Thank you so much for this bad boy. Look at that, people. Another Doga to add to the collection. So this is Vegeta from GT. I think this was from episode 55 of GT. It was called Heart of the Prince, I believe. I did put this on my Instagram where I took a photo of this. I have a little um, clip of the scene that it's from and then a screenshot of this exact shot as well from the anime. So I like putting it all together. It's just really satisfying finding the exact frame that this is taken from. So yeah, I definitely, definitely will be adding more dogas and animation cells to my collection when I can, because they're just, they're just such cool collectible pieces. I just love it so much and it just feels so exclusive to have something that was actually used to produce and make the show the show that we all love so much so yeah i really really love it it's just it's so cool that is it for today's video i know it's a short one but i wanted to show off these amazing artists so please go check them all out the links will be in the description below as well as the tcg vendors and crazy panda collectibles he does ship internationally, so if you guys are also interested in these kind of collectibles, definitely hit him up and he'll definitely look after you. Also, I just want to give thanks to everyone that I hung out with and chatted to on the day. You guys are so awesome. It was such a blast to catch up again. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.